<laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. That's Donald Trump saying in his own words that he will be a dictator on day one. There's numerous other examples of that. And I know the big news this week is the story from the New York Times that Donald Trump's former chief of staff, a four-star retired general, John Kelly, said that on multiple occasions, he's heard Donald Trump praise Adolf Hitler, and he believes that Donald Trump is a fascist. Think about it. Donald Trump's own former chief of staff is saying that. But we don't have to find the needle in the haystack to identify Donald Trump saying Hitler-like things. Donald Trump's admiration of Adolf Hitler should be apparent in the speeches that he gives every day and in the language that he uses. Here are the types of posts that he's been making, and we've been covering it here every step of the way on the Midas Touch Network. He goes, illegal immigration is poisoning the blood of our nation. They're coming from prisons from mental institutions, from all over the world. Without borders and fair elections, you don't have a country. Make America great again. Now, we previously, two years ago, we made the following graphic. I'm sure you remember the growth stages of Midas Touch. We were fearlessly calling this stuff out. Trump echoes Hitler's words on the campaign trail. Hitler said, I will get rid of the communist vermin. Donald Trump says, verbatim, I will get rid of the communist vermin. Hitler says, I will take care of the enemy within. Donald Trump says, I will take care of the threat from within. That's what he was saying when we created that graphic. Now he talks about the enemy from within. It's a direct quote from Adolf Hitler, from Mein Kampf, and from Hitler's speeches. I mean, it's word for word borrowed from Adolf Hitler. Hitler goes, Jews and migrants are poisoning Aryan blood. Donald Trump says migrants are poisoning the blood of our country. And he says that if he doesn't win, he will blame it on the Jews who need to have their, quote, heads examined. Hitler says one people, one realm, one leader. Donald Trump says one people, one family, one glorious nation. So this was the front page of Drudge last night. Trump, Hitler did some good things. Blame the Jews if I lose. That's what Donald Trump would tell his former chief of staff. We have audio of that that the New York Times obtained that we're going to play in a moment. But Donald Trump said, I need the kind of generals that Hitler had. That's what Donald Trump said to his former uh, chief of staff, John Kelly. You know who else referred to Donald Trump as Hitler? Do you know who did it? Yes, J.D. Vance, Donald Trump's VP pick. Not that long ago, like four years ago, J.D. Vance was saying this, maybe a little longer than that. Um, when J.D. Vance was um, in one of his prior iterations of his personalities, because he keeps inventing himself over and over again, he said, Trump might be America's Hitler. That's what J.D. Vance said. Trump might be America's Hitler. Um, I want to share with you this, though, because I'm going to show you what uh, Donald Trump's former chief of staff said. You may have heard the audio. So I just want to provide you other data points as well. Do you remember when we covered Donald Trump's speech in West Palm Beach, where Donald Trump said that if he gets elected this time, you will never have to vote again. There won't be any more elections, he said. He goes, four years, it will be fixed. You won't have to vote ever again. And Nancy Pelosi said, the disgraced former president said he would be a dictator on day one, called for the Constitution to be terminated, and last night he doubled down on his vow to end democracy. You could hear it in Donald Trump's own words right here. Let's play it. <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, no, no other than day one. And here Donald Trump once again says that he will be a dictator on day one. Play the clip. You know, it's interesting. I did a show, Sean Hannity. Did you ever hear of him? He's a very nice man. <laughs> and he said, essentially, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? Tell me. I think he was trying to give me a nicer question that maybe you guys would. He meant it very well. I said, I'm going to be a dictator for one day. But folks, it's not an accident. He's not just mistakenly saying this. This is actually what his followers want. And really what we're dealing with in this election, we have to call it what it is. Donald Trump isn't messaging conservative views or Republican views. No, he's messaging fascism. 
And because of the right-wing propaganda on Fox and Newsmax and OAN, this type of stuff appeals to millions of Americans who want a day one dictator. So here, for example, is one of those propaganda networks that cover the Trump speeches. And they go and they speak to the Trump supporters. And here they go, how many people here, this is what the network is saying. This is what they're pushing. How many people here support a day one dictator? And all of the MAGA supporters who go to these rallies raise their hands and cheer that they want a day one dictator. Play this clip. The way they are is because they know when he comes back, it's game over. Day one dictator. It, 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 hey, right. day one dictator. Cause you know what? We gonna drill, baby, drill. Baby. Hey, how many people here? Now, normally I know you probably wouldn't in America, but considering what they've done to this man, how many people here support day one dictator? Yeah. yeah. As our editor-in-chief, Ron Filipkowski, said at the time, I've always said the best way to understand Trump cultists is to start with the premise that the things he does and says that repulse us most are exactly the things that they love. By the way, um, here, now I'll play for you um, what General John Kelly said. The first clip I want to share with you is General John Kelly telling the New York Times that Trump play, that Trump praised Hitler multiple times. Now again, this is Donald Trump's own former chief of staff saying this. Here, play the clip. He would uh, he commented more than once that you know that Hitler did some good things too. And of course, <laughs> if you know history, um, again, I think he's lacking in that. But if you know what his you know Hitler was all about. Uh, it'd be, you'd be pretty hard to make an argument that he did anything good. So what would you <laughs> what would you say when he said to you that Hitler did a lot of good things? Well, I tell him that I said, you know, sir, if you, if you first of all, you should never say that. <laughs> but if you knew what history, Hitler was all about from the beginning to the end, uh, everything he did was in support of his racist, fascist uh, life. You know, the, you know philosophy so that nothing he did you could argue was good it was certainly not done for the right reason and um but he would occasionally say that what would he say when you would lay that out to him yeah he just you know that'd be the end of the conversation usually your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made Bed Sheets. Miracle Made Sheets are inspired by NASA and they use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made Sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. No matter the weather, get better sleeps. I do now thanks to Miracle Made Sheets. They're luxuriously comfortable and without the high price tag of other luxury brands, I think they are nicer than the sheets used by some five-star hotels. They're infused with silver that prevent up to 90 99.7% bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets, so no more gross odor. So stop sleeping on bacteria, which can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Just sleep clean with Miracle. Go to trymiracle.com slash Midas and try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order them today, you can save 40%. And if you use our promo Midas at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep now with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S, and use the code Midas to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Midas to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. All right. Now, here is Donald Trump's own former chief of staff saying that he believes Donald Trump falls into the general definition of a fascist for sure. Donald Trump's own former chief of staff, distinguished four-star general saying Donald Trump is a fascist and warning us Play the clip. Certainly, uh, the former president uh, is in the far right area. He's certainly an authoritarian. Um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, 
So he fall, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. And here, Donald Trump's former chief of staff, General Kelly, says he's certainly the only president that has all but rejected what America is all about and rejects our Constitution. This is Donald Trump's former chief of staff saying that Donald Trump rejects our Constitution. Here, play the clip. He's certainly the only president that has all but rejected what America is all about and, and what makes America America in terms of our Constitution, in terms of us, our, our, our values, uh, you know, the way we look at everything to include family and government. And he's certainly the only president that I know of that was certainly in my certainly in my lifetime that was like that. And by the way, there's more stories today about Donald Trump um, doing these types of things with his former chief of staff. The Atlantic got an incredible scoop that we reported on as well, where Donald Trump said at first he was going to uh, pay for the funeral fees of a fallen soldier, and he made that promise in kind of a public way. However, when he got the bill, and the bill was $60,000 or so, Donald Trump said, according to The Atlantic, it doesn't cost 60,000 bucks to bury a effing Mexican. He turned to his chief of staff, Mark Meadows, and issued an order. Don't you pay it. Don't you pay it. And as uh, Michael Cohen pointed out to me on Political Beatdown, Cohen goes, look, Donald Trump wouldn't pay for Ivanka's uh, burial site. He put her in the back lot of Bedminster in a swamp area. So why would he pay for uh, the soldier when he finds out that it was $60,000? It's a good point that Michael Cohen makes there. Now, here's what Donald Trump posted last evening, yesterday evening. Again, using this Hitler-like rhetoric. Year after year, globalist after globalist, radical left politician after radical politician, Kamala Harris and her party sold you out. And then Donald Trump goes on Fox and they ask him, they say, hey, why do you say the enemy from within? Why do you keep on saying that? And he goes, because they are. And again, that's Hitler rhetoric right there. Here, play the clip. Joe Biden said he doesn't think it's going to be a peaceful election day. Well, he doesn't have any idea what's happening in North Carolina. He spends most of his day sleeping. Uh, I think the bigger problem is the enemy from within, not even the people that have come in and destroying our country. By the way, totally destroying our country. The towns, the villages, they're being inundated. But I don't think they're the problem in terms of election day. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. And I think they're the and and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by national guard or if really necessary by the military, uh, they, because they can't let that happen. Here is J D Vance being asked about his comments previously calling Donald Trump America's Hitler. Play this clip. This is an evolution, and I know you've been asked about this before, about past comments that you've made about Donald Trump. Uh, you've said I've never, I'm a never Trump guy, never liked him terrible candidate, idiot if you voted for him, might be America's Hitler, might be a cynical a-hole, cultural heroine, noxious and reprehensible. Those are things. And I'll leave you with this. Here is the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley, who also says that Donald Trump is a fascist. Okay. Notice the pattern here. Four-star generals who have been around Donald Trump warning you that Donald Trump is a fascist. And here, when he was retiring, uh, General Milley, who Donald Trump called to be executed in a post. Remember, Donald Trump tweeted or posted on his social media that Milley should be executed. Executed, Donald Trump said. For treason, Donald Trump said. Executed. And Donald Trump saying this stuff publicly. Here is General Milley giving an address that America, we are about the people. We the people, not for dictators. Here, watch this to a country. We don't take an oath to a tribe. We don't take an oath to a religion. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator 
And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. We don't take an oath to an individual. We take an oath to the Constitution, and we take an oath to the idea that it's America, and we're willing to die to protect it. Every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, guardian, and coast guardsman, each of us commits our very life to protect and defend that document, regardless of personal price. Well, there you have it, folks. Judge for yourself. I give you all of this data so that you can make informed decisions. Now, I'll give you this perspective because here's what Donald Trump and his people say. They say, look, when Donald Trump talks about um, uh, how he wants to be a dictator on day one or dictator for one day, they go, he's joking. He doesn't really mean that, they say. They go, that's not really what he means. Well, as former President Barack Obama said, first and foremost, everything someone says who's running for the highest office has meaning. You don't get to go, oh, I don't mean what I say. It all has import. This is the United States of America, damn it. We, the people, hold these leaders accountable. And then number two, there shouldn't be, even if you say he's joking, which he's clearly not, you heard for yourself, joking about being a dictator is not funny. That's not humor that should be in our political discourse. It's not funny to hear, oh, ha, ha, ha. Given the history of dictators like Adolf Hitler killing tens of millions of people and the atrocities caused by dictators around the world today, it's not a humorous thing for leaders of political party to joke like that at all. So even if you say joking, that's disqualifying, but he's not joking. He's deadly serious. And this election is not about two different policies. It's about pro-democracy, freedom, and our constitution with Vice President Kamala Harris. And on the other side, Donald Trump is presenting you a Hitler model a fascist model, and that appeals to some Americans. It's sad, but that's it. That's the choice. That's the choice, period, full stop. Judge those clips for yourself. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 4 million subscribers together. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.